Hello and welcome, vegan savages, to another video, not a vlog. You get a vlog every single day because I do daily vlogs. But recently in this video, I talked about my mini cut and I got many questions and people just don't really understand. So I make a sit down video. Well, I'm actually standing. You know what I mean. So I just talk about a mini cut and we go really in depth. I have the feeling this video will be a bit more complicated. So focus guys and just yeah listen to what I have to say and after this video I promise I gave you all the information if you understood it it's up to you maybe you need to re-watch the video but I give you know all what you need to know about a mini cut what it is how to do it all about that so I took a couple of notes if I look at my phone that is why and I look at my phone quite a bit because I have lots of notes but I try to make it as easy as possible so mini cut what is a mini cut? A mini cut, it's just a short diet. There are different kinds of diet. If you wanna do a bodybuilding competition, you do a long diet, which often goes for many months. Um, or if you wanna lose weight long term because you got overweight, you got obese, you wanna lose 10, 20, 30, 40, or even more kilograms of body fat, thus you should stay in a caloric deficit where you eat less than you burn long term for months, maybe even years. But what a mini cut is, mini already implies that it's just mini, 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 mini. So a mini cut is just a short diet. That's all it is. Now, why a mini cut? For building muscle optimally, we generally need a caloric surplus that comprises also gaining fat, not only muscle, long term because if we are in a caloric surplus, we eat more calories than we burn, just slightly. And even if it's just slightly, if we do it long term, those calories accumulate. We use them, the abundance of calories and nutrients to build muscle, but also we will store them as fat. And long term, we will also gain fat. Now the solution you may wonder might be that an extremely small surplus so I only gain muscle and no fat. In theory, you could do that, but practically it's basically impossible because out of two reasons. The first one, your expenditure fluctuates. How many calories you burn fluctuates each day. If you've read my nutrition guide, you know how to calculate your maintenance calories, how many calories you burn per day on average. The important word is on average. Each day it fluctuates a bit or even a bit more. Let's take an extreme example. One day you feel sick or you are sick and you just lie in your bed all day. You don't move. Thus, you burn less calories than your average maintenance calories. On another day you feel great and you decide, hey, let's run a marathon. So you do something that you don't usually do and you burn so much calories because you run a marathon. So you're so much above your maintenance calories, your average maintenance calories. So these were two extreme examples, but you know, on a daily basis, like my friends call me up and we play volleyball and I usually don't do that and it's so much fun and I really exhaust myself, so I burn like 600 more calories. Or on another day, I skip my training and I take the elevator and usually I ride my bicycle, but I take the car, thus I burn less calories than average. That's why exactly eating exactly your maintenance calories in just a tiny tiny plus is basically impossible because it always fluctuates and you and you would need to calculate your maintenance calories each day and that is basically impossible now hopefully in the future we have great tools that just and we already have but if you don't wear them and stuff anyway that's to, to make it easier we just aim for a bigger surplus still small but not just a couple of calories that we don't gain any fat, but just a surplus above your maintenance calories of like 100, 200 calories per day that we always have this buffer. And the second reason why we cannot do that is that also whole foods, they fluctuate. If we buy just staples like oats, each grain has slightly different nutrients and also over time. For example, an unripe banana has another structure than a completely ripe Banana which tastes super sweet, which has then a bit more sugar because the starch turned into sugar. So you cannot say each banana has the same amount of calories. Thus we need a buffer to compensate for all that. 
and thus we aim for a small caloric plus, which is not just one calories more than we burn. To calculate that is basically impossible, but just like 100 to 200 calories. Now, how to actually mini cut? First, we diet, a mini cut goes for one to five weeks generally, and we aim for a big deficit between 500 to 1000 calories per day. Second, our training stays constant. Our glycogen storage is still up because we were lean bulking for weeks, for months, not just weeks, for months or even years. And why we should do a mini cut, I come to that point later because we feel uncomfortable or I, I will talk about it later. But our glycogen storage is just full. So we still make progression in the gym generally and our glycogen is full, we get a good pump and we still have a lot of energy because we accumulate fat over a while. We have it easier to use that fat storage for energy. So usually we also have a lot of energy and thus we can allow ourselves a bigger caloric deficit and get away with it easily because it's just short term, just a mini cut. And that's why also a bigger caloric deficit is recommended because it's just a mini cut. Thus we use it more effectively, burning more fat in a short period of time. So that's why a big caloric deficit between 500 to 1000 calories per day. And after you mini cut, you immediately eat your new caloric needs, which are about 100 to 150 calories less than your caloric needs before the mini cut. So why is that? Why do we need less calories after the mini cut? It's simple. If your weight goes down, your caloric needs go down. Imagine wearing a weight vest and you lost three kilograms and you just put off the three kilogram vest. You don't have that anymore. For example, I gained 20 kilograms of lean muscle mass. Now I weigh 90 kilogram. So compared to my old version who weighed only 70 kilogram, I wear now a 20 kilogram vest. And now with the same lifestyle, doing all the same things like hoochie, sneezing, going to the gym, riding my bicycle, taking the stairs, cooking, doing all the activities, but I basically wear a weight vest of 20 kilograms, thus I burn more calories. And now after the mini cut, after you lost a bit of weight, you have a smaller maintenance calories because you basically put off a fat vest and thus you burn less calories doing your day-to-day -day stuff. Is this already super complicated? Stick with me, we're almost through. Let's now take an example to make it easier to understand. Let's say your maintenance calories are 2,700 calories. Now you lean bulk eating 3,000 calories for a while to be in a small caloric plus of, in this example, 300 calories. So you eat 3,000 calories for months after months after months, gain a good amount of muscle, but also a bit of fat and then after let's say, I don't know, five months, you want to do a mini cut and you do then a mini cut for let's say three weeks eating 2000 calories, being in a deficit of a thousand calories. And after those three weeks, your post mini cut caloric needs are just 2600, so 100 less than before. So you lean bulk with 2900. So you're in a surplus of 300 calories again, but because you lost weight, your maintenance calories are lower. Hopefully you uh, understood that. Now, the last one is how often should we mini cut? Either the earliest, I would recommend every 16 weeks of lean bulking, meaning every four months, or at the latest, when you feel uncomfortable in your skin. When you don't be that motivated because you feel a bit chubby, you summer is coming, you don't want to be shirtless because you don't feel that comfortable in your skin, then it's time to do a mini cut. So that is all the information. Basically, was that too complicated? I don't know. That's why, because building muscle, it is richly complex, but fundamentally simple. Same for a whole food blend based diet, how to find your maintenance calories, all of these topics are richly complex but fundamentally simple. But this complexness you need to cover. That's why I wrote my nutrition guide and my training guide ebook. If you haven't read it, check it out. Description down below, just vgains.org, and there you find in there all the information because you need to go in depth, but then it all makes sense. So I hope that wasn't 
such an information overflow that you took something out of it, otherwise maybe watch it again. So do whatever your goal is and work towards that. Always it starts, what is your goal? What do you want to achieve? You wanna lose weight, you wanna gain weight, you wanna maintain your weight, just get healthier. And then you work according to your goal and first you need to find your goal and before that your why. Why do you even want that? But I'm ranting here, I talk about it enough in details in my ebooks. So thanks for watching, until next time. If you don't know, I do daily vlogs on this channel and that was just, that would be two videos on a day. Hmm, lucky you. All right, peace out.